take a look at this. This is a three and a half inch, my standard coil, and this is the test prototype of a new seven inch coil. If you compare them side by side, this kind of looks like a toy, even though it is not that small. So I did some testing. Um, currently it's connected to, this is a two Tesla, uh, BBM Pulsar 4.5B model. So with this coil, I can get uh, two Tesla 20,000 gas on the output. So from this coil, give it a guess. 0.75 Tesla is the max I can get out of this coil. Here is how this coil looks on the inside. If I place it over here, this is uh, three pounds of copper here. And this one, small one, is one pound of copper. So it's like four times larger three and a half, four times larger than this, uh, compare one to one. And on a power level, it is 2.5 times weaker, but it gives a much larger coverage area. So this is, I took some measurements, by the way, let me show you how I did it. So with my Tesla meter, I made a sketch here on this board and um, marked uh, every quarter inch uh, the distance from the center of the coil and it took uh, measurements along each uh, line here so I got 27 um, measurements and I was able to sketch out the intensity um, of the coil and it kind of looks like this so ignore the sides once in the middle of the coil there is the most magnetic field and it just raises up kind of looking like a cone and then as the magnetic field gets to the edge here it drops literally down to the zero and goes into the negative and then intensifies and then drops down uh, back to zero. The thing is, these coils in the middle, they will output the most intense field and then field goes around the coil like that to all the directions. And as it feels, as it goes into this um, side, it will be north pointing to the north and as it turns around and goes back it will be reversed that's why at this point it goes into outside and then goes back around into the coil and on the back on the back of the coil will have a same shape magnetic field and same shape on this side from the back of the coil if we're taking measurements so this coil is fairly quiet in operation. I filled it up with epoxy all the way inside here. There is a center um, empty open space that I filled it up with insert here to um, not to fill it up with epoxy in the center here. But every, everywhere else around the coil and into the handle, it's all filled up with epoxy. And it feels kind of heavy. It's like um, four pounds altogether, you know. So a couple kilos. It's kind of heavy, but um, it's. Uh, I think it's worth it to have it maybe for like older people it will be hard to hold it in the hand but you know it's manageable considering what um, I can get out of it now a session time using this kit on with this coil I am getting around eight minutes 
with this coil I'm getting 23 minutes I timed it and I was able to get 23 minutes same pulsation rate as this but um, three times a longer session times which is uh, good well, I like that I am um, currently working on improving the speed of this pulsation speed of um, all of my pulsers currently we'll be testing larger charging capacitor bank with a different diodes so that's coming in the future and um, operation is very quiet on this since it's all filled up in epoxy um, yeah the magnetic field is lower than this it's 0.75 tesla seven and a half thousand gas but um, let me power it up and i'll show you so as you can hear right now it's loud because there is a metal here but as i bring the clo farther away you can't even hear the coil it's very quiet and yes it reacts with the metals now this coil does triggers muscles with 0.75 tesla this is actually right now 0.3 tesla and yet 0.3 tesla almost doesn't trigger muscle but as i increase the intensity you see my fingers twitching my hand yeah so it is strong enough to uh, cause muscle contraction and on the lowest I can show you that we're putting out good magnetic field it's 0.3 tesla but as you can see I can get this coil to spark okay guys this was just an introduction to this new coil um, I am just starting to test this and I will be testing it on different models across uh, uh, on 0.7 Tesla, the 3B, 2B model, 4, 5 and um, all the models will be tested with this coil. So far I like it because I can get close to 25 minutes session time without cooling the coil. and. Uh, cooling process is not easy uh, it's much easier to build a coil without cooling now this housing for this coil is available for free if you have a 3d printer you can print it from high temperature plastic like asa and the files are available at my website i will be posting links down below this video um, later on i will be offering this build coil already as well as um, the center uh, copper coil inside so this one is uninsulated i will need to insulate this and um, there you go so just wanted to show you a little bit about this coil uh, more videos are coming if you like this video Please give me a thumbs up. That helps with the channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done it. And I'll see you in the next one.